In this video, I'm talking about why I quit Orange Theory. I thought it was a great way to lose weight, get fit, tone up, but it was anything but that. If anything, I gained weight and kind of wrecked my health. So I am gonna share all those details in this video. Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Tina Hoppert. I am the woman behind the Carrots and Cake brand, and I help women get healthy. Um, I love talking about metabolism and hormones and mineral balance and fitness and body composition. So with all those things in mind, I am going to share why I quit Orange Theory. So with Orange Theory, I joined thinking this was the way to lose weight, have a new fun fitness routine that I was totally motivated by. And really it ended up being kind of a bad decision. <laughs> I started Orange Theory and felt really good the first few workouts. You know, I was running, I was rowing, I was lifting weights. It was a really high intensity workout and I loved that post-workout high I got from the endorphins. I really, really loved it. And as the weeks progressed, I just felt more and more negative symptoms that I just couldn't ignore. I really got to a point where it was very obvious that it was the orange theory that was kind of throwing my body out of whack. So I'm gonna talk about some of the symptoms that I noticed and why these aren't necessarily good symptoms to have, especially if you are a woman <laughs> and you want to lose weight and you want to change your body. The first symptom that I realized that really surprised me as far as trying a new workout, trying a new workout routine, was that I gained weight and it was pretty quickly. I had been doing Orange Theory probably eight to 12 weeks, somewhere in there, consistently, you know, anywhere from three to five times a week. And I slowly started to see the number on the scale increase. Initially it went down, but then it started to increase. And of course, you know, going into this new workout routine, I thought I was going to lose weight, not gain weight. Um, and the thing that really surprised me is a lot of the weight started to accumulate in my belly area. And that was the last place I wanted to gain weight. And that was really a clue that something needed to change as far as my workouts go. The second symptom that I noticed that again, couldn't ignore was that I was waking up in the middle of the night. I am normally a pretty good sleeper. I fall asleep pretty easily, but then I'd be waking up anywhere from one to three o'clock in the morning. I would be tossing and turning. I was not getting a full night's restful sleep. Um, and it was starting to really bother me. Um, I just felt exhausted all the time and waking up in the middle of the night which I later learned was a sign that my blood sugar was crashing overnight. So if you think about what happens when you're doing an Orange Theory workout, you are running, 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 you are using your muscles, um, the glucose that your body produces as far as energy goes is being used up and ideally it would be replenished. <laughs> But at night, I was either not fueling enough or doing workouts that were too hard, and my blood sugar was crashing between that 1 to 3 a.m. mark, and it was waking me up. Um, so what happens is when you have low blood sugar, your cortisol, which is our stress hormone, increases. So essentially, I was waking up a little stressed out in the middle of the night, heart racing, and not able to get back to sleep. So that was quite the surprising symptom. Um, and that was one that I really couldn't ignore. And it almost seemed like there was nothing I could do about that until I changed my workouts. The third symptom that really surprised me and I couldn't ignore, it was that after my Orange Theory workouts, I would feel okay. I would feel pretty energized and excited after, you know, accomplishing an hour long workout and sweating and lifting weights and running fast on the treadmill, doing all the things. It was a fun workout, no doubt. Um, but a good 30 to 60 minutes after that workout, I felt exhausted. I felt like I needed to go lay down on the couch, like I needed a nap. And of course on a random Tuesday when I needed to go to work, it was, really challenging. I just felt so fatigued and the, the amount of coffee that I could have consumed, um, I, I just felt like it didn't make a difference. And if I had done a workout out on the weekend on a Saturday or Sunday, I would a hundred percent go take a nap after the workout and really exercise and fitness should not make you feel depleted. It really should energize you and make you feel good. And I just felt awful. <laughs> 
And I just felt so awful after these workouts. And initially I really kind of ignored those symptoms. I just figured it was part of a new workout, part of trying something new. I mean, the Orange Theory workouts were tough. I mean, there was no, no joke about the workouts. They were definitely challenging, but the thing that really helped me change what I was doing as far as my workouts and helped me realize just how stressful this high intensity exercise was on my body was something called heart rate variability. And that's something that you can track on a smartwatch. So if you have an Apple watch or a Garmin or something like that, it can give you data on how your body responds to certain activities, um, obviously exercise. Um, but basically with heart rate variability, it's not your actual pulse. It's not like the actual heartbeat. It's the time in between those beats. And in theory, the more variability there is between those beats, the more likely your body is to recover from a workout and is responding to that stress in a good way. If there's not a lot of variability in between those heartbeats, it means that you're kind of stressing out your body and your body is not recovering well. So I was tracking my HRV at the time. I was going to Orange Theory doing these workouts and then looking at my smartwatch and the data and just seeing that HRV plummet, workout after workout. And the thing is, that HRV never really came back. It just stayed consistently low the more and more I did Orange Theory. And like I said, initially I ignored that. And then over time it started to really hit home in the sense that I just, my body couldn't handle the workouts. It was just much too stressful for my life and for my fitness level. Um, and that really made me change how I worked out. Finally, the symptom that I really couldn't ignore was just how hungry I was between workouts. And I was craving carbohydrates and sugar and that quick energy that you typically need after a workout. And it's not to say that I wasn't fueling my body, that I was under eating or anything like that. I think I was eating a normal amount of food, but my body just wanted those carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are quick energy. Um, they give you um, the most bang for your buck when it comes to fitness and giving you that quick energy. And that's all my body wanted. And I just felt like, having those crazy cravings and having those like endless sugar cravings was actually not helping me as far as my body composition goals <laughs> went because I was probably eating a little too much of, you know, the not so healthy stuff. I was probably eating too many cookies and too much chocolate and maybe too many glasses of wine, all, all the things, but it was not helping as far as my weight loss and body composition goals go. So Orange Theory was quite the experience <laughs> I've done all sorts of exercise programs and fitness routines and whatnot over the years. And I have to admit, it was probably the most intense and it taught me so much about my body. Um, I can honestly say that I ignored a lot of the symptoms that I experienced until they got to a point where I couldn't ignore them anymore. I mean, I felt <laughs> awful. I was gaining weight, I couldn't sleep, I was craving carbs. Um, I just felt like this workout impacted my health in so many ways. So nowadays I work out very differently. I treat my body very differently and I'm going to create a new video and share what I do as far as my workout routine. So definitely look for that in the future. We will link to it so you can find it later. And if you are ready to change how you work out, if you're somebody that's been running and running and running, doing all these high intensity workouts. Maybe you're doing some Orange Theory or Peloton and you're just not getting the results that you want. Check out some of my workout programs. I have a signature program called Strong Made Simple. It actually was such a hit with my followers and audience. I have a Strong Made Simple 2.0. Both are great ways to exercise without totally stressing out your body and getting the body composition changes that you want. So check those out. And then also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I share my workouts, I record workouts, I talk about them quite a bit. So you can see what I'm doing today and on the regular as far as my workouts go. So you can follow me there. I'm Carrots and Cake on Instagram and I'm very active. So feel free to follow me over on Instagram. <laughs> Before I wrap up, I wanna throw in a quick disclaimer because I do not hate Orange Theory. I think it's a great workout. I think high intensity workouts are a lot of fun and they can be right for the right person at the right 
phase of their health journey. For me at the time, it was too much for my body, too much for my lifestyle. So just want to say that if you like Orange Theory and you think it's working for you, keep doing it. I mean, anything to get you moving, I am all about. So just want to point out, I am not an Orange here. Orange Theory hater. Um, it just was not for me, and it was not for me at the time. It just didn't get me the body composition results that I wanted. But I would love to hear from you. If you're somebody that's doing Orange Theory, let me know that you love it. If you're somebody that's doing Orange Theory and a lot of this resonates with you, let me know because you are not alone. I wrote a blog post about this many years ago. I don't even know when I wrote it. But anyways, got a lot of feedback on it, so I know I'm not alone when it comes to some of these symptoms. And if any of these resonate with you, like I said, maybe it's time to look a little bit differently at your workouts, maybe try something new. And maybe, yeah, that high intensity format is just too much for your body. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other women discover these videos and they can be helpful to them. Of course, feel free to share the video and subscribe um, because there is going to be more content for me about workouts, hormones, metabolism, changing your body, and a whole other bunch of things related to health and wellness. So next, I'm gonna share a few videos that you might find helpful. Thanks for watching. I am Tina Hoppert, and those videos are coming up next.